As part of our pledge to you, we will continue to fact check the words of the candidates on the ballot. And tonight we're digging deeper into President Trump's speech when he visited the Triangle Monday. We're also directing a colossal industrial mobilization to ensure its rapid delivery. Nothing's happened like this since the end of World War II. There is truth in that statement. Operation Warp Speed is fast-tracking the process of finding a viable vaccine. Usually, human trials take six to eight years. In this case, it may be 12 months, potentially seeing mass distribution like we did with the polio vaccine in the 1950s. Due to the medical advances we've already achieved and our increased knowledge in how to treat the virus, the mortality rate for patients over the age of 18 is 85% lower than it was in April. CBS 17 could not find the source of that particular percentage, but according to Johns Hopkins, the current mortality rate is 3.4% when averaged across the U.S. To put that in perspective, we have the fourth worst rate of deaths per 100,000 people in the world. The United States has conducted over 52 million tests that's more than all of Europe put together times two. This is true. The U.S. has indeed conducted around 52 million tests. However, when you take into account tests per capita, we typically rank around 14th in the world. Over the weekend, cases in Florida, Texas, and Arizona held steady and are now heading down. In Arizona, they're heading very substantially down. But just today, Florida reached its highest single-day death count, and positive cases jumped as well. This is Texas becomes the fourth state with 400,000 cases, while Arizona does show a decline. So we've completely rebuilt our stockpile, which the previous administration depleted and did not refill. The cupboards were bare, I say it often. According to the Pointer Institute, there was a depletion of N95 masks after the 2009 H1N1 outbreak. When President Obama asked for a budget increase, Congress not only denied it, they decreased it. Even so, the former director of the stockpile has said the supply of PPE was extensive prior to COVID-19. And CBS 17's political pledge means we are closely following all things campaign 2020. That means unfiltered interviews, live reports, and fact checks of political ads. You can find all that at CBS17.com.